Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more jewelry from one of these great big bags of assorted jewelry that I bought at Goodwill. And you never know what you're going to find in here. We're not, we're not going to finish it because this bag is actually really big. But we'll see what we can find today. It looks like right off the bat, we have a lot of bangles in here. Here's one with a little pendant. Look at that. It's hanging there. It's a wooden, a little wooden bead. A little brown, dark brown wooden bead. It's, that's a nice little, little thing there. And here's a plastic multifaceted bead in a peach color. That's very pretty. It's just, you find a lot of loose things like that. Usually most of them are in the bottom of the bag. Here's a piece of a paper towel. <laughs> Seriously, you never know what you're going to find. It could be anything. Ooh, that's pretty. Is this a necklace? I think it is. Good golly. Oh, we have a snarl. <laughs> Here's a bangle. This is a larger, quite a bit larger bangle. Here's a, a shoe with a flip-flop pendant. Oh, that's cute. Sometimes if you have a snarl, the best thing you can do is undo the clasp. This one has a tiny lobster claw clasp. I thought that might help. There. This is pretty. Look at this pretty blue necklace. Oh my. These are little plastic blue. Little blue plastic beads. That's pretty. It's not terribly long. It has a tiny, a little tiny lobster claw clasp. It looks like it's... There, I got it. It was stuck, but I fixed it. It has a little bitty lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. There, and a little tab. What does this say? Oh, it's from Claire's. That's pretty. I really like the pendant. It's like a mirror. Beautiful. Pretty light blue. Now look at, oh, look at the rhinestones on that. Goodness. Okay, and we have Two more bangles. This one is twisted. It's like twisted metal in a gold color. And a silver one that's bent. It's, it bends pretty easily though. Okay. And here's a necklace that's caught up in another necklace. Ooh, it's a piece of shell. Piece of seashell. It does not have any holes in it, like part of a bead or anything. It's just, um, just kind of matches the necklace, though. It's pretty seashell. It's the same, kind of the same color blue. Here we have a cross. It looks like it was part of a bracelet. You see how it's curved? And it has a hole there and up here. And it has some elastic cord on it. Um, I don't know if maybe it broke. It looks like it did. It's frayed on the ends. So I think that was, I think that was part of a bracelet. Okay. More bangles. Here's another twisted one that looks twisted, kind of like, um, this one. It's not quite the same color gold. This one is a dark, slightly darker color gold some of these bangles out of the way. Oh, here's another one. Here's one that's a copper color. I'm not a big bangle fan. I don't, I don't wear bangles. And two earrings. These are different. Let's see here. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at the little teardrop-shaped hoops. You have three of them. 
or the little pendant there. Nice little dangly earring. And here's one with a, these are actually plastic beads. I thought they were glass. They're not. This one is pink, like a pretty light pink. And this blue bead kind of matches the blue beads in this necklace. It's pretty. All of the stuff that I don't keep, I donate right back to local charities to resell. And I keep the earrings separated. And I will put them all together in a little bag or something. Ooh. I don't know if this is part of an earring. I think it is. It has an enamel coating in an ivory color. And I think up here is where you would have the little piece that attaches to the earring itself. Yeah. It could have been a pendant for a necklace, though. You could uh, use it for either one. Okay. We run into snarl. Here is a pendant that someone has made out of a little stone and they've wrapped wire around it. See? So they made this pretty little pendant. And here's another one that says, thank you. We found some of these before, these little things. It's like a pendant for a necklace, but that may not be what it originally was. And it just says, it just says, thank you. That's pretty cool. The wind is howling outside. It's been like that all day. It's been a very, very blustery day. It's warm, but it's really windy. Okay. I see two lobster claw clasps. Here's one. And we're going to go ahead and un undo it because sometimes it makes it easier to untangle the mess if you just undo the clasps. Here's the little round clasp. Let's see if I can undo that one. It's in there kind of tight though. There. It may or may not help. I lost sight of the other lobster claw class, but I don't know where it went. And because of the wind, the planes are flying over in a different pattern. So I've had planes flying over my house all day. <laughs> Even though I'm nowhere near the airport, they have to come in. They have to approach differently. The wind. Oh, isn't this pretty? Look at this. This is a beautiful necklace. It looks like springtime with all the pastel colors. These are glass beads. Some of, let's see, some of them are glass. Some of them are plastic. They're yellow and green and pink. And then you have this silver link chain. And a medium-sized lobster claw clasp. A lot of adjustable chain. About three and a half inches. And a little glass bead on the end of that. Wow. That's beautiful. I love it. And it's a very pretty little necklace. Let's see what I can do with this here. It just takes patience to, to get it apart. have a little gold chain. I'm sorry, a silver chain with an ale. It has an ale pendant on it. That's just a little ale and a little round clasp. And here's the one with the flip-flop. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, it has tiny rhinestones on the straps. And then a big rhinestone down at the toes. That's pretty. It's from BTC. Whatever that is. It has a little silver chain. With a small, little tiny silver lobster claw clasp. Let's 
and another L. This is a fancy L. It's a rhinestone L. Makes me think of Lynette. I mean, well, it kind of makes me think of Lynette, but I, I meant Laverne from Laverne and Shirley, the TV show in the late 70s or mid 70s. And she had an, she would have an L like this embroidered on her top. Yeah. Has a pretty little shiny silver chain. I think this is real silver, actually. I'm going to keep this chain. It has a very tiny lobster claw clasp, but I believe it's actual. I don't know about the pendant, but I think this chain is actual um, silver, so I'm going to keep that out. Oh, here's a ring. Isn't that cute? It was uh, kind of silver, and now a lot of the silver color has been rubbed away. And it just looks kind of coppery. Sort of. Let's see if I can do anything with this now. Here's the lobster claw clasp. Do I need to undo it? I probably do. It makes it easier to get stuff apart sometimes. Okay. Oh, this is fancy. Look at all the pretty rhinestones. You have the clear ones and the light blue ones. The clear ones go all the way up like that. All the way up to a medium-sized silver-colored lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. There. Who made this? There's a tab on it. Um, it just has an N stamped on it, I think. Or maybe it's a K. I can't, it's actually, I think that's a K. I have no idea. It's been worn quite a bit. You can see the back is kind of worn. It's not shiny, not terribly shiny anymore, but cute though. And another bangle with a necklace tangled up in it. Is this, this is a necklace, but it's, it's amazing how tangled this stuff can get. See, it just gets wrapped around itself. It's really something. Oops, I think I just made it worse. <sighs> there, I got it. So here's this necklace, and it's made of this filament stuff. It's kind of like fishing line. This is pretty. It's pink, yellow, orange, and white. Well, that is pretty. Pretty little necklace. And it has a very small silver lobster claw clasp back here. And about two inch, two and a half inches of adjustable chain. Very cool. Oh, this necklace is, it's in there. Here's another twisted metal uh, bracelet. So that's the third twisted metal bracelet. This one is one of the darker colored gold ones. What in the world? There is this... I think it's a necklace. It's made out of weird stuff. It's almost like they took a strip of a tarp and made a necklace out of it. This is weird. I don't know. It's... It's, it's bound up in something in there. Let's see. Can I get it? Does it have a pendant? Oh, it does. I think this is the pendant. Ooh, it's like zebra stripes. It's a little plastic pendant. How cool. I think, I don't think this is part of it. I think this is something else. I'm not sure. Come on. You know you want to let go. Yeah, that's definitely a separate necklace right there. 
It looks like at some point this had a different type of clasp on it. And now it doesn't. All right. This is a very interesting choice of a cord. I would imagine this would be very uncomfortable. It's like a strip of plastic. It's really tough. It's rough. And it's not, I mean, it's bent. I mean, I imagine it wasn't always that way, but that just doesn't feel like it would be very comfortable to wear. And on the back, they've put, they've tied on this lobster claw clasp. And it looks like this little piece here was supposed to attach here, but it's come undone. It's a cute little pendant, but I think I would put it on something other than this, this stuff. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Here's a piece of paper. What is this? Connectors. Oh, this is kind of like this right here. It has a little loop, a little place here and here where you can attach a cord or something. So you could use that either to make a necklace or uh, you could use it in a, with um, the bracelet too. And an earring just hanging by a thread. I think we saw this at the mate to this earring last time. It's a little metal red. It's painted red. A little metal hoop earring. The back is gone. But I just keep all these little individual loose pieces together in a bag so that wherever I donate it, they can put them together. Here's a pink bangle. It's bent a little bit. Let's try to shape it a little bit there. Yep. Lots of bangles in here. Oh my, look, it's a jaunt. A safety pin, my word. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with it, but it's a great big safety pin. <laughs> it's fairly sharp on the end, too. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever found one of those in one of these bags. And another bangle. This is just a silver one. It kind of feels like aluminum. And another twisted metal bangle. It's caught up in a dog tag. This is a lighter color. It's kind of gold, but it's not that darker color. Well, this just comes right out. Here we have a little dog tag on the chain. And it's Psalms 27.1. And 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3. Somebody probably was given this as a gift and didn't keep it or something. Here's an interesting earring here. Oh, I kind of like that. That's cool. It has three separate pieces with these little copper colored beads. That's a pretty earring. I like it and it's not heavy at all. It feels like it doesn't weigh anything light. <laughs> it just says jingle. <laughs> A little Christmas necklace. Let's see if I can remove this. Oh, that's cute. I like that better than the ones that just have the jaunt jingle bell on it. This isn't quite so hard on the ears. I just personally, I find the big jingle bells a little bit too loud. This is actually nice. And it just says jingle in the gold script. It's a little bit of holly right there. And a shiny red cord. Ooh. What in the world is going on here? Oh, I don't know. How does this work? Oh, it's two strands. That's what it is. But somehow it's gotten twisted around this doohickey right here. This is something different. Oh, no. 
I think this is why a lot of jewelry ends up going to Goodwill. They pull it out of the jewelry box and it looks like this and they just say, forget it. <laughs> I'm not messing with that. And they just send it off. Let somebody else untangle it. Let's see. One thing that might help is to undo this lobster claw clasp. It's kind of a, a copper color. It may not help at all. I don't know. But it, sometimes it helps to undo it. I'm just trying to figure out how in the world it got tangled up in this thing to start with. Good grief. <laughs> it has gone. I did it. Now I gotta figure out what I did here. like this is two necklaces, but I think it's all one. It's like it's two necklaces that are staying together for the children even though they hate each other. Oh, I got it. Oh, this is interesting. Let me um, redo this clasp here. So we do have this little bitty lobster claw clasp about three inches of adjustable chain and this is long look at these interesting beads here these are glass and inside the clear part they have black and gold look at that that's cool it looks like a little woolly worm a little caterpillar kind of and then we have these multifaceted plastic beads on either side one of them is quite a bit longer than the other that's a very interesting necklace. And then they have some more of these plastic beads up here. Okay. And in this plastic bag, we have some earrings. Now see this bag? I would probably just hang on to this bag that was in here and just stick all of the loose pieces in it just to keep everything together. Usually in these bags, you're going to find at least one little bag and that's usually the that's the bag that I will use to put all the little stuff in so they don't have to go digging through it to put it together oh, little red white and blue stars oh and they're shiny too they have glitter on them little shiny stars. That's cute. Little patriotic earrings. Very nice. So while I have it here, I will just go ahead and put these in there too. In the pendant. This one thing and the thank you and I'll just hang on to that here's a piece of an index card that looks like someone was using it to hold a pair of earrings oh my goodness what oh it's a necklace a very interesting necklace oh it's hooked on a thing back there Oh wow, it's a choker and it has, it looks like the lobster claw clasp is missing this little piece here, you know, the little spring back thing that you pull. So it does need a, a new clasp, but it has about two and a half inches of adjustable chain here. And let's look at the pendant. Here's, ooh, the pendant's pretty. It has this teardrop shaped piece in the middle that's kind of a, a midnight blue color. That's very unique. Wow. There's no name or anything on it. I don't know who made it, but that's an interesting necklace. That is really cool. I don't know that I would ever wear it, but it's that's pretty. You know what? I think I'm going to keep that. 
going to hang on to that. At the very least, I can fix the clasp before I donate it, but I think I'm going to keep it. I don't have anything like that, so I think I'm going to hang on to it. Okay. Oh, here's another little piece of paper. This one has several pairs of earrings on it. It was five dollars. And I don't know what store it came from, but... Oh, look! These little earrings are tiny red guitars. How cute! And then you have a little tiny pair of rhinestone earrings and two pairs of silver, just little silver balls. The little red guitars are adorable. They're so, they're so little. <laughs> they little tiny little red guitars. That's interesting. Oh, and here we have the world's smallest harmonica. It's an honor harmonica on a, on a chain. Look at that. I've never seen one of those in one of these bags either. A little baby harmonica. Does it work? Well, I'm not trying it now. I'll clean it before I try it. But you know I'm going to try it. <laughs> it's tangled up in balls. Look at that. The balls won't let it go. What in the world? There's no clasp that I can undo. Goodness. Why in the world is it like that? Oh, here's a pretty necklace too. Look at this. A little short silver necklace. With these really pretty light blue uh, pottery beads here. And a black and white one in the middle. That's really pretty. And it doesn't have any adjustable chain. It has this little round clasp. That's gorgeous. Um, still, I want to get this out. Well, I got this whole thing out. That's an earring. Isn't that cool? Oh my word, I love this earring. I'm going to hang on to this. If I find the other one, I'm going to keep these. These are beautiful. And they're not heavy at all. Oh, not at all. Well, not too bad anyway. They're, no, they're fine. I am really, I'm not a fan of heavy earrings. They're, they're not that bad, really. I would wear those. We just have to hope the other one is in there somewhere. Sometimes you do have to deal with the heartbreak of finding one earring that you really like and then you get down to the end of the bag and the other one is just, it's just not there. I've had that happen several times. It's so disappointing. Okay. Somehow I have to figure out how to untangle this because I can't untangle, I can't get it out of here. Oh, I see what I've done. Look at that. Here, pull it this way. There, we got it. It's the tiniest harmonica I have ever seen in my life. Look at that cute little thing. It's an, no, Honer, H-O-H-N-E-R. Honer, Honer, I don't know, but it's a harmonica pendant on a black cord with little beads. That's cool. I'm going to try it. I'll let you know in the description if it worked or not. I'm going to clean it before I do anything with it, though. I'm going to disinfect it with some alcohol or something before I try it. Now this necklace here, this is the one with the balls. It has some big balls and they're hanging down low. This is from New York and Company. And you see it has three strands to it. Very shiny silver. Really nice. Somebody mentioned before um, that it seems like I like a lot of the New York and Company necklaces, and 
they really know what I like. That's true. I've, I've noticed that. Almost every New York and Company necklace I see, I really, I really like it. This is pretty. Um, it has a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp with about two and a half inches of adjustable chain to it. It's very nice. It's, it's not terribly long, you see. It's kind of on the shorter side. Very, very reflective and shiny. Really pretty. Um, oh, here's a nice chain. It's kind of long, though. It's just a silver chain with a round clasp. That's a good-looking chain. I don't need it, but it's very pretty. That's very nice. Oh my gosh, we have so many bangles in here. It's unbelievable. I'm going to have to just start pulling them out in groups. Here we have some copper colored ones. Oh, this one's fancy. It has little rhinestones all around it. Well, that one's missing. A little thin one. Here's a thicker one. Kind of a silver color. You will not believe how many rhinestones are in here. I mean, how many bangles. Here's a little silver necklace with a teddy bear pendant. It looks like pewter. The necklace has a little round clasp and no adjustable chain. It just has this little, little piece here. And that's all. A cute little teddy bear. Um, yeah, seriously, there are a lot, a lot of bangles in here. I don't think I've ever seen this many in one bag. Hey, here's one of the earrings that we found. Here's the, um, the gold with all the little hoops. So I'll make sure that goes in the back. Some of these bangles... Oh, these are separate. These bangles have little pendants, little pearls. This one has a lock pendant that looks like a heart. Look at that. Oh, there's, there's way more in here. Oh, this one's pretty. Actually, no, that is a bracelet. It's a stretchy, sparkly bracelet. It, it's, see, it's like, it's like a spring. And it's totally encrusted in rhinestones. Very cool. And another. Here's an earring. Oh, it's a cat. We've seen some kind of like this. It has these individual pieces and together it makes a little black cat. It's a little pierced earring, a silver hoop, and all the little pieces look like a little black cat. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know I'm keeping that. I can convert that to a clip-on earring with no problem. If, if we find the other one. I will hang on. Oh, it is so sparkly. I will hang on to that and see if we can find another one like it. Um, good grief, all the bangles. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know how to explain it. Here's a, ooh, this is pretty. It's like tiger's eye, but it's plastic. It's just a, it looks like it had some glue on the back, like it was attached to a piece of jewelry. And now it's not. Here is, oh, this was a pendant. It looks like the little top piece that you use to attach it is broken. But it's a little birdhouse. That's cute. Even kind of looks 3D, the way it's made. That's nice. I hate it's broken. More bangles. That one's hung up on something. I think it's an earring. Yep, there's a, an earring. I think we saw that one last time. More bangles. More bangles. Here's a little 
looks like a vintage piece, a little metal flower. Um, I think it was an earring or a pin or something, but whatever was on the back has broken off. It's pretty though. It has a little pearl in the middle. Oh, I found the other earring! <gasps> yay! Oh, yay! I am so excited. Look, Charity's gonna love these earrings. Oh my gosh. I would never wear these because they're a bit much for me, but Charity so would. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I am so excited. So I have both of these. Look. I have them both. Yay. That's awesome. Well, that was great. More bangles. are really cool. This one has little rhinestones on it. Right here. Ooh, that's pretty. What in the world? I think it was part of a bracelet or something. That's that's actually beautiful. It has this green tiger side looking thing in it. Ooh. Here's an earring. It looks like a pool ball. It's red, white, and blue. It's a plastic ball. When I first saw it, I just saw the red and white part and I thought it was a cork to go fishing with. That's what it looked like. More bangles. Oh, there are plenty more in here. I can't get to all of them, but oh golly, Pete, look at that earring. <laughs> Holy moly. Let me set these down. <laughs> It's an amazing earring. Look at that. Whoa. And it has, oh, it has beautiful rhinestones. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. I've never seen an earring like that. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Here's a Oh, it is an earring, but it's, okay, the post is bent down, so either somebody messed it up or they had it bent down so they could use the little clip earring converter on it. It looks like a brooch. I don't know why, it's just kind of a weird look for an earring. There's a whole cluster of stuff up there. Here's part of an old earring. Here's where the, the back was. Yeah, so the, the little gold pieces, the stuff is flaking off. And here we have, oh, it's a turtle earring. <laughs> it's stuck on a ring. Look at that, it's a little blue turtle. It's made out of porcelain or something. And it has a pearl. And it's all held together on a copper wire. That's cute. And a ring. That's an interesting look to it. Here. It's, so you have this rectangular piece and three rhinestones and this little, whatever you call it, it's a little purple rhinestone. It's kind of odd looking. Looks like something from the 60s or something. I don't know. It's very unique. Very interesting. Kind of, kind of cool. And this looks like it had a stone in it. I don't see any way to, oh, okay, up here are the holes so you can attach it to something. Another bangle. There's this big, right up here is this huge pile of stuff and it's resting precariously and I think there's going to be an avalanche. Oh look, it's somebody made a ring out of little multicolored bales. How cool. That would slowly drive me insane. Like every time you move your hand. Although it might be fun for a video if you like the sound of 
the bells, like, um, I could do a letter tracing video while wearing this jingle ring. <laughs> but in real life, I don't think I would want to wear that. I'll hang on to it, though. But seriously, we might use that one day in a video. Ooh, here's a ring with a rhinestone butterfly on it. Ooh, wow. It's a little large. I'm putting it on the wrong way, I think. Pretty. It is pretty. It's just a little cheap adjustable ring, but it's cute. It's just a little piece of costume jewelry. I got distracted by all the bangles. And there, there are still a bunch of them in here. Um, oh, these aren't bangles. These are earrings. It's a pair of large earrings in gold. Hmm. And this is magnetic. Everything is trying to stay with it. A little magnetic bracelet. Here's a tiny little stretchy bracelet with a little doohickey on it that opens. Oh, look at that. Put your little sniffer in there, smelling salts or whatever. A little bump of cocaine, oh, whatever you need. Here's a, a thing if you need it. Here's another one of those little thank you things. We found a lot of those. Oh, that's a heavy bangle. Golly. Oh, now this is a pretty bracelet. Wow. That's gorgeous. I love the pink iridescence. Oh, these are plastic beads, but they are so pretty. That is so pretty. I love that. or two. That's one. That's an interesting chain. It's silver. And here's the pendant. It reminds me of a genie's bottle. Just the shape of it. You have the large piece down here and it gets small. Pretty. Multifaceted. Little glass. I think they're glass beads. And a meat. No, kind of a small lobster claw clasp in silver. That's a pretty little pendant. And another little necklace. It's kind of tarnished, but it has a little heart with a little flower on it. I was hoping I could get this out, but it's hung up back there. Oh, here we have some wire. I thought these were bangles. It's just a thing of wire. And another thank you. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's a palm tree pendant. <laughs> a little gold palm tree. That's cute. That'd make a cute pair of earrings. Although if you look at it the right way, never mind. It's a palm tree, I promise. There's a piece of cellophane. Don't wear that. That's out of style. Nobody wears that anymore. And a little pearl earring. A tiny wooden bead. Oh, here's another one of these things. So it looks like they link together somehow. Yeah, they do. There's, I think this was part of the bracelet. Oh, I got it. Excellent. I think this is going to be our last thing for the day. This is a long, 
long necklace. I don't even know where the end is. Oh, I well, it could even be a it could be a belt. We have these links. Oh, doesn't it sound lovely? It sounds like the world's most delicate wind chime. Oh, that's nice. It's like a burnished, it's a, like a tarnished old silver color. We have oval pieces and round pieces of different sizes. It's just lovely. Very nice. So that is our last piece for today. We still have a long way to go. We still have plenty more bangles in here. And we will get to those next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed looking through a little bit more of this bag with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon.